And we're live. Welcome. Welcome. To. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Hi, David. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. Hi, Sam. And Engineer Sam. Howdy. Hey. We it's are cross live. Pod Wordcast. Yeah, it's the cross. Yeah, you, you're you tire- <laughs> that was tired. I'm tired like, of it. You're tired of it. No more uh, synergy. Uh, well, interlacing, crossing no. of words. People you don't want to join the show. They just want to know that they're on the right program. It's the Crosspod Wordcast. It's the Crosspod Wordcast. And we're live on Twitch and YouTube. Um, we hope if, if you're seeing this, you are at one of those places and not just uh, seeing a bootleg copy somewhere that's been like torrented. Um, we're going to be real big in the torrent scene someday, though, probably. I'm okay with it. 
if you're if you're with us live, uh, please uh, comment and, and interact with us. We, we'll uh, we'll react to your messages live. With uh, yeah, we will react and we will we we will react authentically, mm-hmm. organically. Lindsay, how genuinely, you been? yeah, <laughs> immediately. How's your week been, Lindsay? It's good to have you back. It's so good to be back. I'm honored. It's been a good week, I think. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are like this, but weeks are a blur to me in the COVID time. So just one week melts into another. I don't remember Monday. Yeah. I could if I thought about it. Okay. It's been a good week, though. How about you guys? I've, it's been, you know, it's been a week. It's been a week yeah. of a week of weeks. I, I got to say, is this is not an easy week. No. No, big, uh, big uh, uh, homeowner woes that, you know, uh, oh, no. I don't want to go into. Oh, no. But, uh, you know, it's just uh, it was going to get taken care of. I was in denial for a while. Now I got a smile. <laughs> Is that the sta- the two stages of uh, homeowners? Of, yeah, of grief, yeah. Uh, in denial for a while. Then you got a smile. Yeah. Look, I, I want I want to uh, say as far as like last week you asked me how things were going and I, I kind of like Lindsay I had nothing it was all a blur and nothing yeah. stood out but this week I can say I got a compost bin. Hey, is it a rotary kind? Is it a? Is a, it a yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's a, from the Rotary Club, and it's great. It actually has a has a divider in the middle, so there's two two, two sections inside it. Uh huh. I'm and, looking forward. Uh, uh, what? Is it black? Is it's it black? Uh, yeah, I know the one you're talking about, the style, and mm-hmm. I have one that's similar. Oh. We'll have to compare composters one day. <clears throat> David, we'll can you tell compost. us about? Can you tell us about the uh, the gloves that came with it? Oh, I could tell you about that. Yeah, well, actually, two sets of gloves came with it because I had to assemble it myself, or uh, Chantel and I assembled it ourselves. But uh, one one set of gloves comes with it that you're supposed to wear while you're putting it together because it's got this 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 plastic has little little sharp pieces i guess mm. and it'll cut your fingers and that's not fun uh then it it comes with another pair of gloves that have little plastic claws on the end it's like a it's like a halloween costume for a witch yeah i got a and, i got one of those gloves in yeah a, one in of a those gloves. set of garden stuff that i bought what do you have what have you done with those gloves daniel well, when I would do when we were doing landscaping last spring, they kind of came in handy for certain certain tasks. I had like we had a lot of glass in our in our mm. dirt, as it turned out, and so it was a pretty decent glove for sort of like sifting through potentially glass filled dirt. Wow! How's it for and, back scratches? Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. All those, uh, ask if me we're using it week. for back scratching, we'll have to do that before it becomes a um, a, 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 a compost u- used glove because I don't think you can use it as a back scratcher after it's become filthy. One or the other. But the I, I just, I, I read an article last year sometime about composting and how it's essential, uh, at, well, I guess how... Um, one of the problems that civilization has is is the the problem of organic waste and and the the emissions that come from organic waste and mm-hmm. you know I was just living my life blissfully unaware of this problem and ever since then every banana peel I threw away every every you know avocado peel Pit. I threw away every organic waste I put in the garbage can I I knew in my heart of hearts, I was I was part of the problem and not part of the solution. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, now you are part of a solution in uh, what well, uh, to your composting. Yeah, so I'm 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 an individual. I'm I'm solving my problem, and and we're talking about it now. So listeners might might also clue in. I, you know, in in Korea, I read in this article like uh, <clears throat> the the municipalities in Korea have figured out how to just you know they have. A, gar- a waste basket. They have uh-huh. a recycle bin, and then they have uh-huh. an organic bin. You know, in the yeah. city. Yeah, I ha- I had one of those. Uh, I was confused by it at first because I'd never composted before, and I, uh, you know, I confess I wasn't the best at using it um, because it was like you know they came once a week, and I was just you know sometimes you wanted to just empty your trash into the trash 
But uh, you know that's great. Uh, we should all we should all uh, be like Korea, in that regard. Here, here, there, there. Well, let's move on um, uh, to a little more housekeeping before we get to a real fun new segment mm. on the show. Uh, very fun segment. Uh, uh, housekeeping. Um, please go to uh, review us and subscribe to us on these places that you review and subscribe, and uh, your iTunes and Apple Mu- Apple Podcasts and and YouTube. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. We share little bits of tid there, and and Twitter. We tweet. Yeah. What else? You know. Well, someone asked us, "Hello, how's things?" And yeah. we should say things are okay. Yeah, thanks, GS9391. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, um, can we move on to a fun a fun new segment? I, w- I was hoping you would ask if we could, and yes, I think we can. That segment changed. Oh, that's the little yeah. marker, okay. Yeah. Uh, this segment is called Buzz By, and it's where we do what we always do, which is drink <laughs> on the show. Uh, but we're, you know, we like to spotlight uh, who where our drinks come from, but this week we are all happen to have the same drink um because friends of the show over at uh beehive distilling aka desolation distilling are friends of the show and so now uh we this is are like gonna, a cocktail in a can right it's a cocktail in a can yeah uh this is out of south salt lake city uh beehive distilling but they haven't uh they make that is where they make their their gin and their whiskey and um and uh vodka and etc uh and this and then for their cocktails in a can it's called desolation distilling and this one is their moscow mule beehive vodka with ginger lime juice and natural flavors uh uh, people should enjoy it responsibly i suppose oh yeah Mm -hmm. and uh only uh yeah it sounds nice mate so I was about to say you can enjoy it if you're over 21 in the U.S. But mm. if you're where GS9391 is, but Probably. if you're where Down you can Australia? enjoy it when you're like 18. Oh, yeah. if, if that's if yeah, people using the word mate, uh, if that brings it up another point. If I guess once th- I don't want to interrupt this segment though, Daniel. Oh, that's right. Let's start. Let's start, okay. and then we'll describe it, and then we'll. Uh... Oh yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a okay. little splatter on my trackpad. Mm. Oh. In a moment of reflection, with a cocktail in hand, we decided that some of the best places in the world are the most desolate, untouched, and untrampled. We hope our cocktails give you a chance to pause, reflect, and enjoy the peace and solitude that desolation offers. Cheers. That was so good. Cheers indeed. <laughs> it's a very pleasant... Yeah, that was God yeah. talking. God the producer. Producer, producer Sam... Um, one day he'll pop on the camera. He's actually been on the show before, but it was before we were a, a video live stream. We were yeah, just so, a podcast. So fans so. of the audio form podcast have, have heard him solve the puzzle with us. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he solves this all the time. Beverage. It really tastes good. Very nice. Um, uh, Lindsay, anything to anything to say about it? Um, I would say, I, I don't know if this will translate to everyone, but it's very plucky. Like I drink it and I'm like, Ooh, mm-hmm. like it's got like a little zing to it, which I love. Uh, great flavors. A little ginger in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ginger. Not too much. Yeah. I mean the, the citrus and the ginger really like are like, you know, equally there mm-hmm. just sort of like, like a one, two kind yeah, of there's, like, there's har- harmony to, to the flavors. Yeah. I just wanted to sorry because we kind of were talking about Australia another thing this isn't this has nothing to do with puzzles and podcasts and it just has to do with Australia just a few days ago the Australian Open started the the you know one of the four Grand Slam tournaments of of professional tennis and it's a after a year of everything being canceled last last year it's exciting to see professional tennis happening again so uh, um, hopefully this GS9391 knows what we're talking about. It, maybe this person's down in Melbourne, um, but I've been watching it. It's, it's been fun. Some, of, uh, some American players are down there doing quite well. An American player who won last year uh, didn't uh, make it through this year. So, so the, uh, the uh, Sophia Kennan is, isn't moving on, but um, Serena Williams and Venus Williams are down there and and, and Rafael Nadal and Djokovic, all the names you, you, you expect. Federer isn't there, but um, 
Anyway, I'm just really thrilled about it. You, you know, as far as like how my week is going, I'm not Australian. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, still, uh, still valid. Uh, uh, go on, David. Who else was not there or there? Oh, well, who else is it? Well, several, I mean, many people aren't there, but th th this week and I mean, this t tennis is going really well these days, I think. Uh, you got some, there's a player uh, named um, uh, Tsitsipas, a Greek player, who I think is very fun to watch. He's he's a, a young player, but um, very poised. You know, uh, it's it's interesting to see the personalities and the emotions that come out for, for, for these 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 athletes who are, they're not members of a team, they're just alone. Yeah, just solo. Mm -hmm. And they're playing two to five hours on, on a court in the, in the hot, hot Australian heat. And... Um, to see that, that that you know that strain really either either it, it reveals their personality and their character in, in in a fun way and some of them are are dramatic and and i don't know like like Nic nicholas uh, Kyr kyrios this this he's actually i think maybe of, of greek descent but he's an australian player and it's fun down in australia they have they're doing is that, well with is that corn. right mate yeah that's right and down there they're doing better with uh, covid than we've been <laughs> Oh, oh, someone's Danish. Uh, they, they're doing better. So the crowds are actually there more than you might see. Like when they had the New York, uh, sorry, the U.S. Open in New York, the crowds were just not there and it, mm -hmm. all the seats were empty. But down in Australia, they have a few more people in, in the stadium. Um, it's just been refreshing. Oh, GS9391 Scottish. What's up, fellow oh. Scott? Oh, yeah. yeah. That he may not know. We have talked about it on the show before, but um, all the shows you were on before may not be in our Twitch, in our Twitch history. You could maybe find them on the podcasts, and uh, yeah. But uh, okay, uh, I'd say it's about time to launch in um, to yeah, the I puzzle. Think we should, yeah, yeah. And people should know what what we're about to do is solve today's puzzle not from the, the New Wednesday York Times. one. I was just the placeholder. Th Thursday there. puzzle from the New York Times. It's gonna. Mm -hmm be um, a, a tough puzzle we'll solve it all together and then we'll review the words we didn't know in a segment called the etymological pass and then we'll conclude the, the whole episode here by uh, by sharing some art with each other in the arts section yeah i always thought it was the art section but I, that's i guess if it's after the new york times the idea their section is called the arts or the arts, arts. It's uh, just what, called like arts. The, yeah, it, it's the word arts, plural. Okay, is up there. Um, well, uh, okay. Uh, uh, it can uh, be an as arts we've talked about many section. times in the past, yeah. art is a very loosely defined term, and mm -hmm. it includes, you know, paintings and, and and the letter S and yeah. puzzles and technology, and so so I'm very excited to see and and hear what you folks are going to share with us and the and the audience, uh, okay. art wise. Well, uh, uh, let's jump in then. Uh, Lindsay, you're going to solve by on screen looking at the mm -hmm. perfect. And uh, so you can do your homo, your Macaulay Culkin impression. The whole time. The whole time. Sit like this. Every time you have an answer, you need to uh, scream it. <laughs> okay, like uh, David, you're going to do it on your, on your phone or I'll iPad do it or something? On, yeah, on my iPad. It's, it's in front of me. Uh, but your 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 iPad is the one that people that the audience yep, can see. Yep, my iPad, and it'll be um, um, in the New York Times app. So yeah, same here, and I'm ready let's, to press go now. Okay, uh, this was written by uh, Alex Eaton Salners. Salners. Alex Eaton. Alex Eaton Salners. Salners. That's cool. Okay. Um, what do you make of those adjoining? Is that you think he's got those are probably both of his parents' last names? Or, and that's why they're or, hyphenated. Or Alex is um, a person that is married to someone, so it's like a married name. Oh yeah, like you, you take your spouse's yeah. name on with yeah. a hyphen. Sure. So today, should we look at the the, the grid here and, and and see what it looks like? I, there there are some darker stri uh, stretches of, of squares. There are some all shaded letters, six some shaded long, answer yeah. sections. Yeah. Four four. Um, four really long sections. ones. Yeah. Two of them span the whole puzzle, 15 letters. Mm. And uh, so the shaded ones are all six letters long, 
kind of situated in the middle. Actually, they're all, yeah, they're different. Two twos and threes from the start. Do you want to look at the theme? Should we jump in? I mean, we're kind of already have a. Um, I already saw number one. One across, across. there, or the four letter answer, blank, 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 blank. And the clue, Spider-Man villain, blank, Octavius. Hmm. Doc Ock, right? Is right, the it's Doc we're Ock. About. It's yeah. his, yeah. But I, his, his first name. I think his first name is like Otto. Is that? I think it might be. The, the palindromic right? first yeah. name, Otto, O-T-T-O. So that ought to do it. One down then maybe. Oh, oh blank, oh. blank, blank, blank. Yeah, what's that clue? Razor, razor handle? Question mark? Yeah, razor handle. Is um, it the Occam? Occam's I razor. I wondered the same thing. Yeah. Like handle, like a name? Yeah. Nice. That's Occam, A O C C A M. Yeah. We'll probably want to look that up because I know Occam's razor is that, that thing about uh, the thing uh, that's most likely to be true probably is or something like that. Isn't mm-hmm. that Occam's razor? Yeah, like this, the simplest. All things is. being equal, the simplest answer is usually the right one. We'll I look also kind of wonder where the word handle comes from in, in this sense. Oh, is, does double... it come from like CB radio chatter? Yeah, but when before that? Let's look it up okay. at the end. Okay. And, or, and let's not forget about it like we sometimes do. <laughs> yeah. Help us. Uh, 13 across, C blank, blank, blank. Prefix for many ocean spray products. Oh, I know that. Cran. 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 All right, let's cran the next one. Okay. TR blank, blank, blank for two down. Clue here is meet cute in a romantic film, e.g. So what is a meet cute in a romance film? Uh, It's a trope. It's a, a trope. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Three down, T A blank blank blank. Twenty twenty one Super Bowl host city. Uh, that's Tampa. Just recent news, Tampa. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. I I feel like we're getting we're, we we should look at seventeen across now that we have three letters right. of it. So it's C O M, blank, and then well I should say C O M and then twelve blanks, but there there's also six of the shaded blanks in there. Yeah. So C O M a bunch of blanks, some shaded ones. The clue is what a Pratt fall may be done for. Hmm. Comedic effect. Does that fit? E D I C no. no, that doesn't fit. Um for comedy com com comic. Let's look at maybe four down and see if we can get the uh I or the E or see if it's either one of those. It's O N maybe I or E and then four blanks. Five blanks. Oh, yeah, four blanks after that. Right, oh, after maybe, that one, yeah. yeah. Where we are. Where we are on Earth. On Earth, yeah, that is where we are. Yeah. It's universally true. So comedy, maybe. Let's see if okay, uh, comedy. Yeah. 18 down starts with a D and then has five blanks. The clue is part of a cabinet. Like a secretary cabinet, like a president's cabinet. Uh, or, or like a cabinet cabinet. Yeah. yeah. Um, how about a uh, true clue game? 22 across. Oh, M-E-A-R blank. When there's only one letter left oh, in the answer. Too late. I already to... saw Sam uh, oh, Timber no. Timberthrax oh, on the, the chat the gave okay. us the answer. So no, no true clue this time because uh, Timberthrax jumped in. But M-E-A. Oh, drawer for 18 down is what he said. Yeah. So Mira uh, for 22 across just filled that, itself in without us even getting to it. The clue for that was actress Anne with four Emmy nominations. Hmm. I, I probably would have got that with just missing the last letter. Who, but, is, uh, who is Anne Mira? She's an actress with four Emmy nominations. Oh, that one. Yeah. So so a television actress. Maybe. We'll have should, to look. Should we look at 20 across there with the A-P-P-A-R blank, blank, blank? Uh, oh, hold on, this got all messed up here. Mira, uh, which one across? Twenty. Uh, Twenty across. A P P A R blank blank oh, blank. Oh yeah. yeah. The clue is. Communist Party systems. Apparatchik. Apparatcha. Apparatcha. C H. I don't know how to spell that. Yeah, I don't know. C C H 
A, maybe. We'll check it out. Perhaps this five down with the Y from comedy, so blink, blink, Y blink. Yeah, and I had a C there, but that might not be right. Uh. Uh, uh, Mother to the Titans. Oh, I don't know that. Uh, Greek old Greek history. Yikes. Don't know that myself either. Uh, okay, so uh, maybe six down, yeah. and maybe it's an H at the end. Blank, 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 H. Uh, well, I don't know. I, you I don't, don't know, know why it. there's this. I don't think. Uh, you don't know I about don't that? I feel confident about an H being there. Sure, sure. Okay, I'll take the CH out. Well, then, do you want to go somewhere else, like 25 across and see if I like 25. It's part of the theme. We yeah. got TW and then six blanks, and those are shaded, and then four more blanks that aren't shaded. So, yeah, TW and, clue, and 10 blanks. Program followed in Alcoholics Anonymous. 12 steps. 12, 12 steps. steps. So E doesn't fit. L. So maybe the, it's the one shades are, short. are distorting the length of the of the answers somehow. Maybe. 12 yeah. steps. Uh, program. 12 step. Yeah, hmm. it could be a 12 step program, but it's already got program in the clue, so that's not right. Should we, Should look we at, try 26 down? Yeah. E blank blank. The clue is Judge of the Bible. Um, don't know. Well, there's Eve. Right. Uh, she's not very judgy, though. No, yeah, mm-hmm. she's like, uh, bring it on. This uh, this apple is not Bear very me that apple. kind of a thing. Yeah. Oh, speaking of. Uh, maybe we could do 27 down or, or 36 <sighs> across. Um, 36 across R blank blank yeah what a swish misses isn't that net rim yeah oh, rim. oh the rim yeah oh, then it's Eli is the judge mm-hmm. ah. and 27 down might be L blank and then it is M blank 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 after that the clue is proof parts uh, like a like a mathematical proof, you would have yeah. like um, limits. Do they have? Do you use limits? Maybe. Or or proof is it could it be pudding related, and the proof is yeah, it could be alcohol related, like alcoholic proof. Yeah. Oh, or yeah, yeah, or like pr- a proofing. Uh, you know, you're 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 rising the the dough that you have to it has yeast. Oh, in is it. that called mm-hmm. proving? There's so many options. Mm-hmm. Well, let's take a look at. Uh, I mean, is there anything to the theme yet? Program followed in Alcoholics Anonymous, and what a pratfall may be done for. Hmm. So maybe not. It might just have to do with something that's happening in those shaded spaces. So let's maybe see if we can build in some of the shaded spaces and then to do something. Okay, what, like mm-hmm, with seven mm-hmm. down or? Sure, or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't have any letters. It's Yeah, we have the V maybe from 12. Oh, correct. Yeah. Uh, 12 seems like Likely. it's pretty safe. So blank, blank, Wait. blank, 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 V blank. Okay. The clue is doesn't make it through a lecture, say. Ooh. Snoozes, leaves, um, doesn't make it through a lecture, say. Um, goes over. Uh, uh. I don't know. How about 31 across is, we've got a lot of letters in that, maybe. Okay. Blank, yeah, blank. Blank, 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 blank. H-E-L, mm-hmm. blank, blank, blank. Yeah. And the Pro- clue is proper way to pass. On the left, on the right. Oh, that's not, that's not on the left. Yeah. It's on the left. It, on the left. Yes. <laughs> so indeed, it, 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 uh, limits is not looking it's looking like L E M blank 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 for proof parts. And now that uh, seven down ends with a V F, that doesn't seem right. Mm-hmm. Like, like even maybe that we have to get rid of. Yeah, the L and the V. Sorry. The L and the V. Why the L? Because just because oh, the V. Because. Tweet. So then. I don't know. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, um. Could we try five across? Because I might have five seen across. it, and okay, I think okay. we would all know it. So it's four, four blanks. blanks. Beef and Eater is... and Bombay Sapphire. Those are gins. gins. Nice. Way to gin up an answer for oh, us. Oh, those are brands of gin. 
Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, uh, eight down, S blank blank. Honorific. So it's honorific in Sanskrit. Yeah, from Sanskrit. Uh, S-R-I, Sri? S-R-I, yes, Sri. No. Like uh, Sri Lanka? Yeah, it's great. It's the only Sri I really have in my uh, yeah. Sriness. So what now? Maybe 14 across? Blank, 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 R blank? Yeah. Oak in a nutshell? Oak, comma, in a nutshell? Uh, acorn. acorn. That's cute. So six now, down? Six down. I see blank blank. Rhyme pays wrap. I'm just going to guess that it's iced tea because uh -huh. of the, the availability there. Yeah. yeah. Well, so now, uh, uh, Mother to the Titans, we have G A Y blank. Oh, it's Gaia. Gaia. Which mm. is the, the goddess of the earth, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, not seven down again doesn't make it through a lecture say oh, and nods oh off. nods off nice david isn't it spelled gaia with an i asks our dear friend timber thrax on on there yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah think I think that's right yeah that is right i had a y because comedy and then yes yeah, so we have c-o-m-e-d-i-e-d-i -E -E comedy okay so the thing that's in the shaded We've got dyed I blank fitting within those six shaded letters of, yeah. of 17 across. So that could be that the, uh, the, the clue, the, the, um, the theme or whatever is a couple of words dyed in the wool, you know, like it could correspond from the shaded one shaded to the next and make a sentence or something. Yeah, we want to jump around and see if we can find the clue, the, uh, the, uh, the keys we to should this. jump around, I think. But before we do, let's let's do fifteen down just to kind of finish out that that shaded region. And it's, we have N followed by four blanks uh, for fifteen down. The clue is blank shoot a town like Alice novelist. Anyone? No, no, no. I got nothing. So okay. that's a tough one. Okay. So yeah, let's move down to the to the other themed what like forty six across and fifty nine across. Yeah, uh, forty six across is twelve letters. Yeah, the, and clue. the clue there. Sing under pressure. Sing under pressure. I don't think uh, we'll it's know like that. sing like a like a like a it, sing like a jailbird. Um, or sing like a you know like a sing to the cops like like rat like mm. narc. Oh. oh yeah and so if you're like being interrogated like give you know give it all up in interrogation or something maybe yeah then okay 15, 59, 59 across. across so far the the, the clues don't have a clear no they don't relationship seem to be thematically between. linked mm -hmm. yeah 59 across is all 15 letters long and the clue and is the clue where magazines may a. b laid out and that, that what we said was where magazines may be laid out. Yeah, you didn't need to say it again, David. We already said. Yeah, it. we did. The, 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 the they listeners. heard. <laughs> um, cool. Well, uh, that could be that could be uh, on a coffee table. Yeah. 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 Sure. Uh, so now maybe what we should do is like thirty-one, two, three down, or. I want to kind of like jump and see. I want to. I want to like look around and see if there's something that looks like a. Uh, you but know, you're like scanning a, the clues is what scanning you're scanning the clues to see if there's something that unlocks all of the theme. The, yeah, because you know, sometimes there's the a grand clue that that gives you a kind of, uh, that that refers to the other clues, but I don't see any that says like, oh, see, see one yeah. across or see. I don't see anything there. Okay, well, I did see the filmmaker Efron that popped out at me. Uh, Thirty-two oh, across. Nora. That's just Nora or yeah. or Zach. Sure. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, he makes films. I mean, he's a filmmaker. Uh, He's uh, if 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 uh, anyone's a filmmaker, <laughs> if where, you're in, is that one? Where, where is filmmaker Efron? What clue is that? That's thirty-two, 32 down. down. Oh, then yeah, Zach doesn't fit. Yeah, so yeah, right. Okay, so thirty-one down. Oh, blank, blank, blank. Its flag displays a curved dagger known as a. I don't know how to say that word. Conjar. Conjar. So I'm guessing Oman. Oman. 
yeah. as far as a city, a city, that, uh, or sorry, a, a nation that fits that space. And and our, mm -hmm. our commentator, uh, GS9391, the Scottish uh, uh, commentator, says his name is spelled different as well. Zach Efron, right? It's what, what it's Z-A-C, or like three letters wouldn't fit. Or no, his Efron, his his Efron oh, S. his last name is spelled. Oh. His, affren his oh. affrenity. So they're not. You, you like Nora is not Zach's mom or, or aunt or grandma or anything like that. No relation. No maybe. relation. We could look it up. Uh, okay, true third clue game. true clue game. Thirty five across. Yeah, we have M O blank for new people uh, to the to the true clue game. We don't look at the clue first. At first, we look at the answer. It's missing one letter. It can only be a few options. So we come up with our own answers, but. We then have to come up with a clue for those answers, and we share the clue with each other, and then we say the answers to those clues, and then we look at the true clue. Yeah, so any, and does anybody have a, a clue to propose for M-O blank? I do. Go for it. Um, fashion style that Twiggy uh, helped make famous. Mop? Mod. Um, mod. 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 mod um, <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking mop tops. You know. Mop. Yeah, a mop, mop fashion. No, mod fashion. squad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mod, yeah, like mod for short for modern. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a ver yeah. Okay, it could be that. It could be uh, blank, Larry, and Curly. Mo. Mo. Yeah. Yes, it could be those those things. Uh, I was gonna say uh, in a similar vein to Daniel's. I was gonna say uh, Homer's bartender. Mo, no. nice way to carve out another uh, another meaning of the same letter. The true clue is a stooge. Whoa, you Daniel! You were so right. Whoa, Daniel! Nicely oh, done. Daniel's gonna get the. Uh, he, I think you get two points for that. Two points, not three points. Not three points because it wasn't exactly word yeah. for word the same clue. All right, I'm gonna spend them on some more uh, Moscow mules. Oh, it's These are really good. Distill distilling. From there, should we do uh, 33 down then? Yeah, um, that's 33 down. T-E, blank, blank. The clue? And the clue is blank player. Like team player. Yeah. You're a team player. Team, team, team player. Daniel. Thanks. Uh, this is a team effort, and that's, I think, part of the fun of, of doing a crossword with your, mm -hmm. you know. It's a social way to do a thing that is often a solo and you know yeah. not an anti-social thing necessarily but kind of it's like reading a book when you're hanging out with your friends you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the way to unlock that social part of it is to do it with your friends i like it yeah and, and with a book it's hard it's not like you can just start reading out loud for everyone yeah i mean i i could probably do with a little bit of that some readings yes you know we should yes. have a reading party well, uh, True Clue Game is uh, available for us again once more. We have 41 across here. It's A-R-A -A blank. The, clues, the clue could be... Um, ki uh, a kind of horse. Arab. Yeah. Um, what the director shouts when filming is done. A rap. I, th I should have had with the that's w. blank. Also, I think that probably has the oh, W in there. You're right. Yep. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say like uh, uh, what Eminem calls his style. A rap. Rap. <laughs> a, a, a rap, and that's that's not an acronym, as we okay. learned last week. Yeah, no, it's not. It's like <laughs> rapping, like the sound, the percussive. Mm -hmm. mm. True clue time. Forty-one yeah. across. A R A blank. Bedouin, for example. G. Well, that's an Arab. Yeah. A Bedouin is an example of. It's an not Arab. the horse, though. No, not the horse. But no. linked regionally, they both. You know. Uh, sure. Sure. Okay. Well. Uh, speaking of Arabs, yeah, they successfully, <laughs> the Arab, uh, the nation, the United Arab Emirates, mm -hmm. launched and uh, successfully achieved orbit uh, around Mars with a, um, a, um, a probe. Like this hey. is the first first Arab nation to do such a thing, the fifth uh, human nation to do such a thing, but but it's pretty exciting. This this happened this week. There's there's two more um, 
missions to Mars happening this week. So it's a busy week on the Red Planet. That's great. What should uh, we do? 42 down? 42 down, yeah. Uh, B followed by six blanks. The clue? Something kids often lose. They lose so uh, many things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my patience, JK. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, don't know. How about 27 down? Did we already look at that? We, Proof we parts, have. we did. How about 24 down? Blank, blank, T, blank, blank, blank. Clue? The clue is blank by golly, wow. 1972 hit by the stylists. Stylistics? Stylistics. Yeah, didn't the stylistics blank seem... Golly, wow. um, oh, I, I was thinking the rhythmics. No, this is the stylistics. Blank by golly, wow. No, 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 nope, no. nothing. <laughs> so we're trying to build off of what we already have. Do we, do we look at 46 across yet with, with what we have with the NAM? Yeah, let's take a peek. And that, So NAM followed by nine blanks. Sing under pressure. Name names, like oh, name your yeah. source or something. Name, name your supplier. <laughs> mm. Um... Name accomplices. Mm. Mm. Yeah, like be a rat kind yeah. of idea. So Sing under pressure. Tough still, we don't know that. What about 23 across uh, with O and then four blanks after that? Yeah, that clue is some theater honors. Uh, OBs. O-B-I-E-S? Yeah. Is that an award that's uh, given to the stage, performers yeah. on the stage? Yeah. Musical? Maybe behind the, the stage, even not not necessarily on stage, but behind the curtains. Production, maybe, probably oh. get, you get an OB for that. So it's not a Tony, it's an OB. Oh, B, yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the. Maybe it's just music ones. So okay, from there we can build on what we have. We, I mean, we could revisit Twenty Four Down now yeah. that we have B Blank T, but we, I don't think we have any idea that song is uh, uh, Blank by Golly Wow, nineteen seventy two, hit by the Stylistics. Yep. And then so, we, have, can't we wait to review in. those lyrics. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll have to do that. What about Nineteen Down? Blank, blank, E blank. And the, the clue is, is the vassal's plot of land. An acre, uh, a va- vassal. What is a vassal? Isn't a vassal like a lord or something? I think a vassal is is an under a lord, right? Like under a lord, like more of like a serf level. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, how about nine down? Blank, 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 blank. S, blank, blank. The clue overruns. there is overruns. Sorry. That's all right. Overruns. Like takes like uh, captures, um, overruns. The S from Obi's makes it seem like it's going to be like a something with a preposition at the end, like some, like something's on or, or something's to. Yeah, it, or in. Mm, in is a good. Should we see about uh, thirty-four across? Let's see about so, thirty-four across. Mm, it's blank, 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 blank. Yeah, it is. And the clue is sour-tasting fruit. I say plum. Oh, you think it's going to be blanks up? For blanks up. Down? Yeah. Overruns. Blanks okay. up. Okay. That's a great preposition. Overruns. Um, what? Uh, uh, overruns. Okay. Uh, how about then if plum is right? Uh, 28 down. Yeah. Blank L. Blank blank. California is to palms. As New England is to blank. Elms? Elms? Okay. Probably. Take your word for it. Is, uh, uh, El- is Elm Street in New England? Uh, there's Elm Streets all over the place. Mm, okay. Yeah. That, that, 29 that, down? That sounds right. Blank you, blank, blank. That clue? That's nonsense. That's nonsense. Rubbish. Puh. Poppycock. Uh, posh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Doesn't that doesn't fit. fit. I'm just saying from last week we learned that posh. Oh. T- tosh. Tosh. That's tosh. Posh is a different thing. Yeah. Port. 
inside out uh, starboard. That's in. nonsense. Uh, uh, that's nonsense. Rub, rub, rubbish. Oh, what about what about uh, thirty down or, or forty across? Thirty down. Blank M. Blank blank. The clue. Match before the final. That would be the semi. Ooh. Yeah. Wouldn't it? So maybe plum is. It's plum wrong. Plum wrong. <laughs> David, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so the semi is the match before the final. Uh, so what other fruit or what other sour tasting fruit do you've got? Uh, blank L blank. I, I have a suspicion, and that is that twenty nine down is it starts with a P, like to finish out twelve steps. And the gray area, who knows what happens there, but that this one starts with, because the E and the S are in the right place here. Yeah. Well, if it's P, then 29 down is P blank, blank, blank. And the clue was? That's nonsense. Um, so it could be like P, F, F, T. thought about that. That's nonsense. Yeah, that's that's good because it's an utter. It's in quotes. Th- yeah, yeah, that's nonsense. Utterance. Is in quotes. That we should have mentioned that to the listeners. They didn't. They, did, they can't see that. Yeah, but I don't like forty across. M F M. Well, let's look up forty across. Uh, M yeah. blank M. May Day celebrant. So that's mom. That's mom. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. t- classic, classic celebrant uh, uh, on tattoos as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's nonsense. Blank blank O blank. Uh, Oy. Oh, Try 34. Blank L, blank E. Sour fruit. Sour fruit. tasting fruit. Uh, um, what else could it be? You got your limes, you got your lemons, you got your... Uh, I, there's, there's kumquats. Yeah, there are kumquats. Mm-hmm. There's sour... So maybe we don't like uh, up. Maybe the P's wrong. Should we look yeah. at 43 across for fun? Yeah. It's got uh, uh, f- uh, f- uh, six, blanks, six blanks, then S blank I. Title that translates to Great Sage. Great Sense- sage. Something Sensei? Um, oh, Sensei. Let's, uh, let's see if, uh, if, if it is Sensei, then... Blank, blank, O-E again for that's nonsense. Mm. 38 down, blank, blank, blank. Could be blank, S blank. Okay, that, that clue is it holds water. Like a vase, like an urn. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, that, does, that doesn't like sensei, doesn't like urn. No, sensei no. doesn't like urn. Yeah, the sensei says. Yeah. Uh, well, all oh, right. Well, do we like urn should, then? Should we? If earn we like it? urn, should we do thirty-seven across? Maybe it's uh, blank U blank. Yeah. Agency HQ'd in Atlanta. That's, I know that. I know that because of um, the Walking Dead. Yeah, that's yeah. the um, uh, uh, the centers disease, centers for disease control. CDC. Yeah, the centers for disease control, the CDC. So, oh. uh, urn is no good. Yeah. So D blank blank. It holds water. Damn. Hey, damn. a damn, damn, you guys. Damn, that's a damn fine damn. answer. Well, doesn't like sensei either. So no. sensei's say, say goodbye to sensei. Yeah. Sense said. Yes. Uh, tw- uh, C followed by five blanks is 39 down. Okay. That clue is props, so to speak. Credit. Oh, credit. Yeah. Could that be right? Yeah. Yeah. Could Cre- be right. Where, where credit is due, props. Props. Okay, uh, then maybe 50 across. D, blank, 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 blank. Who is change in the Middle East, say? Uh, dinar? Or, uh, yeah, dinar, yeah, dinar, yeah. Dinar? It's a, a, cur- a currency, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Middle East has a lot of fun currencies to, to, to name. Yeah, what else? Well, you've you've got yourself, um, you know, the, there's the piaster. What? Where is that um, from? There's the uh, the well. I think it's just. I I think that's in Egypt. There's the uh, the shekel. I mean, don't forget the shekel. Never. How could I? Uh, I think there's there's this the 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 pound the st- the pound sterling. I think mm-hmm. is what they call it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, 
Lots, lots of other. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go about. with Dinar. Dinar. Yeah, Dinar. Mm-hmm. And let's see if uh, fifty-one down is N followed by four blanks. That clue is Padme Amidala's home planet in Star Wars. Naboo. 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 N-A-B-O-O. I think so. Yeah, me so, so spell it that way. Yeah. <laughs> do not. No, do Ani. That. Sixty-three across blank O blank blank. That clue, clue is, is way, way to, to go. go. Um, okay, uh, blank o blank blank. Way to go. Uh, not in quotes. Not a saying. Way to go. Way to no, go. It's like the path a route or the route a, or but, uh, but that doesn't road. Road. Road yeah. is the way to and, go. And uh, our our good old GS ninety three ninety one says twenty four D looks easy now, mate. Oh, uh, good 20, point. 24D. 24D. Okay, let's go back to that. It's a B blank, T blank, blank. Uh, no, oh, sorry, B, B blank, blank T blank. T C blank, blank. Yeah. Uh, betcha by golly. Wow. Oh, okay. B C H A. Betcha. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Betcha, uh, that's right. I like how he didn't want to, he or she, they didn't want to give us, uh, or other, <laughs> they didn't want to give us the answer. They just wanted to bring it to our attention. Right, Thank I think you. that's a very uh, friendly yeah. way to, sh- to to work on the puzzle with us in the comment section. Yeah, that's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's 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 not uh, it's not uh, it's playful. Yeah, I would not right. have been so subtle. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's uh, let's to uh, let's look at forty three across again. Blank Agreed. blank. Yeah, that's giving us some something to work with. Blank blank H A R blank S blank I. Title that translates to Great Sage. Um. I wonder if I don't even know if this is a word, but it, it, Maharashi. Oh, that's it. Maharashi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ma, ha, ra. S H I. Maybe Maharashi. Um, let's see if uh, um, well, blank blank O H for that's nonsense. Oh, that might be poo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might be poo. The P was right. All right, so if your steps are right, then I'm going to put ST in there, and we'll see. David could could O oh, low. Oh, is that a fruit? Blank L O E. Aloe? All like, I'm getting is aloe. aloe. Yeah, is that? It's a fruit. I don't know. Is it? You can eat it. You can eat it. Yeah. Is it sour? Do you sour. know? I have no idea. I have it there on is a, there's authority. A, um, no, there's another fruit. It's like related to the plum. It's like a pl- It's like a little. Asian plum or something like that. It's, it's uh, I I don't know. There's something weird still going on over there. Well, sour tasting. F- f- so nine down. If that's right. If it is aloe. Blank 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 blank. S T A. Overruns. That's. Don't know. Let's uh, go back to the bottom right. We were doing well down there. Yeah. So forty five down maybe. Uh, yeah. A blank I blank blank R blank. Question one might ask. When looking at a banana taped to the wall. Is it art? Art? Okay, Maharishi. It is. Maharishi. That's Maharishi. The answer. That, that sounds that sounds more is right. It yeah. art. And uh, our art section would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's all all inclusive. Is nine D plural uh, I would I would amend it to say is it arts? Now, G.S. Uh, uh, Chantel Danes is, is grateful for our pre, uh, our pronoun usage, and then uh, G.S. nine three nine one, our Scottish friend says, "Is nine down plural? It's plural ish. It overruns has the s maybe in in the. Oh, it is. I bet it. I bet it really has just the s at the end, and we're overthinking it. I I, I think slow. we're getting some good advice here from our Scottish friend, and we should put the s there. So slow is a fruit. Yeah, slow. Sour that tasting. is. That's the one. It's a. It's like a. A type of plum is it yes all right we'll see i want to see a photo we of were it. a little slow on the take on that yeah, one indeed mm, so then s so is the end of our nine down overruns um besets voices no, um oh, oh slow gin, gin. That, that sounds good. that's yeah. right you're so um, right it, wait gin there is, is a slow gin, gin is yeah have you ever heard of slow gin no I just if didn't, I ever heard of it, I, I thought they were two, talking about. I didn't put two and two together about slow being. Okay. 
Okay. Well, this is very helpful, helpful stuff because uh, it, it, it pays to have Scottish friends when you're wanting, yeah. when, you, when you need to know about gin and sour fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to know if this person is in Scotland right now or just like Scottish by lineage. Mm -hmm. yeah, do they know about so the Harris, many questions. Uh, or maybe Harris Scottish distillery? raised and Do then, we know uh, about the Harris planted. distillery? Yeah, do, yeah, yeah cause, that too. Cause that's, that's a very important distillery. Uh, All ginery, right. Ginery? So, so uh, distillery. Near Glasgow. Oh, cool. Glaswegian ish. Or maybe not native to Glasgow, but uh, w welcome nevertheless. This makes me so happy. Mm. What's Lizzie, uh, Glasgow we were going on? Just um, a mere, mere years ago, we were in Scotland, but we didn't go to Glasgow. You know, we were in Edinburgh and and elsewhere, but mm -hmm. um, Glasgow was on our list, but but n not one that we we arrived to. Yeah. Well, uh, let's uh, let's uh, continue on, and thanks for your help. Guess where, where to? Ninety-three, Daniel. Yeah, where are you taking us? Back to the bottom right corner. I want to okay. play some true clue in. Let's Ooh. see if we can do maybe uh, like fifty-two down. A blank blank A blank. Uh huh. That clue is Rockefeller Center statue. Atlas. Ooh. Shrugged. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, so true clue in the bottom right corner. For sixty-six across, we have T O S blank. Could be poppycock. Tosh. Tosh. Uh, um, uh, could be s salad preparation method. Oh. Toss. I don't think there's another word here. It could be something else. Let's see. 66 across. True clue is Chuck. Toss okay. Norris. Toss Norris. Uh, 53 down, R blank blank D S. Orchestra the section. Uh, the reeds. Reeds. The reeds have it. Yep. Such a great section. It's in the reeds. Yeah. Um, 56 across. Do we already see this? No, but it looks great. It's yeah, blank, blank 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 I T A T E. The clue is. Bug. bug. Uh, irritate, irritate, yeah. Like, uh, like uh, children to Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I mean, what, no, just based on what you said to forty-two down when we were oh, looking at something thing, kids often lose. Yeah, uh, is Daniel's patience. So I was just kind of trying to run on on that riff. <laughs> Look, we're all running on on uh, on riffs. You know. So now, okay, fifty-nine reads. across. We're ends in the reads with the word table. Oh, and that clue That's was fun. where magazines may be yeah. laid out. I did say on coffee. the coffee table, which does that fit on? I the wonder. Coffee doesn't quite fit. No. You know what I wonder is if it starts like 12 step starts. So like it starts with the word coffee, but then when it gets to the gray, it gets mucked up. It's like you a gray, I mean? like a gray area kind of, mm. kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Should we we'll figure so, it out by, by should we see a fifty nine down is a yeah what fifty eight fifty eight down there yeah fifty seven and oh, fifty eight down I see or do, are you or Lindsay are you oh, saying no I mean down? I want to know if fifty nine down is a C okay. but let's go okay. fifty seven down fifty eight oh okay fifty nine down blank 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 maybe C blank blank the clue is That's let go own. let go can oh true. Let go, can? Yeah. Am I missing? Yeah, anything? like when you can someone, when you're like, you're fired. Oh, yeah. It's like when, um, yeah. Yeah. It's good. it's good. I don't say that phrase anymore because it's been tainted. Yeah. I mean, yes. it's not like, yeah, that's like funny what's like one of those things that you would never. <laughs> Sorry, we're canning you. You're canned. <laughs> you're canned. You're canned. No can I got canned. do. I got sacked today. Chantel says, running on rips. Are you talking about rip talk? Oh, that's a, a reference to Yellowstone, <laughs> a locally filmed uh, television program from the Paramount Network starring Kevin Costner. Do you guys know what's happening? Whatever with... you do. Oh. Wait, what? Go No, you go ahead. Whatever you do, do look up hashtag rip talk on TikTok because it's pleasant. <laughs> nice. For, for certain people, it's pleasant. Pleasant in a very funny way. <laughs> 
uh, all right. Well, uh, let's go on. We have uh, 20 minutes left or so. Oh, yeah, we got oh, it. We got time. We're 50, fine. 58 down. Let's do 58 let's down. Do R it. blank, blank, blank. Antarctica's blank sea. Ooh. Don't know that. Don't 57 know that. down. R blank, blank, blank. That clue. Cowboys QB turned broadcaster. Romo. Tony Romo. Great. Tony Romo. All right. Uh, 62 across. Blank, 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 M, blank. Apartment listing info. Square footage. Yeah. Rooms. Rooms. Yeah. Rooms? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I wondered, info, is is info a... a an abbreviation it, it is an abbreviation right it's kind i of, would say so it could be it's ca- yeah it's like yeah. casual a little bit abbreviated. yeah 65 across uh blank, blank. oh blank yeah they may be set aside in a collaboration um differences kind of thing egos like, egos. Egos. Oh, egos yeah, yeah. So 58 down, R blank SS, Antarctica's blank C. Is it like Ross? the Ross? The Ross C? Yeah. Porsche Day? Yeah. Uh, Do we already see 44 four down? Four down. Yeah. A blank blank, I blank blank, G. Yeah. Uh, that clue is like some glasses. Anti fog. Oh, yeah. We all need that these days with our masks getting fogging up our glasses. Not anymore. Right? Yeah. I had I switched to contacts for that very reason. Oh. I hear that most of the protesters at the uh, at the 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 eye conference were anti fog. Yeah. It's yeah. a big issue. Uh, all right, sixty down true clue. Blank O E. Uh, oh, because we like rooms. I sorry, I hadn't written in. Oh, rooms. sorry. Yeah, I put in rooms. Okay, blank I like O E. Friend or blank? Foe. Foe. Nice. Uh, fish eggs. Row. Mm-hmm. Uh, um. Jane and John's household. Doe. All right. True clue. Sixty down. Blank O E. Part of Italy where Calabria is found. The toe. The toe. Because it's a boot. That's fine. All right. Um, If Ross is right, which we think for 58 down at X, you know, Ross, 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 Ross. I think it's Ross. Ross. I think there was some, you know, some explorer named Ross. Right. Some sea captain. So uh, 59 across now shows C blank, 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 T. F O O T A B L E. If we think I'm right about the coffee thing, maybe the second letter in 54 down is an O. Well, what is it you think then? You think it's going to be like. I think it goes C O F, and then who the hell knows what happens when it gets to the grays, right. but I think it's going to be a C O F. Yeah, it's like coffee foot table or something. Because. Claw foot yeah. table. Oh, ca- uh, ca- well, let's see if 54 is blank. O oh, blank blank for 54 down. The clue is feature of a creature feature, perhaps. Uh, like Godzilla or like, uh, who are the other? Um, a feature of a creature feature. I think it would be like a, a like a fear. mole. Oh, like a mole? What? Is that what you said? Yeah, like a mole, like a. A feature. Yeah, like a mole rat? Oh, I don't know. Mole? I'm just trying to make O be the second letter. Well, let, well what about 61 and 64 okay. cross? We got to do those. A, yeah. A, blank, blank, blank. Oh, my gosh. The clue is? Dang it. Apartment listing <laughs> info. Oh, man. Um, uh, what else could it be? Area? Area. Yeah, nice. Area, that's right. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. All right, 64 across, and blank, blank, blank. Blank Scamander, protagonist of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Yes. Newt. Newt. Did you guys see those movies, uh, Scamander movies? I did see those movies. I watched the first one, liked it. Second one, I didn't finish it. 
I don't think I saw the second one. I think they're stretching maybe a little bit, the, the universe, yeah. and it's not... So, uh, okay, we're 55 down, perhaps. Uh, blank, blank, E-W. Some. S-O-M-E. Some. A few. A few. A few. All right, well, coffee's looking good there. So, coffee 54 down. Great. Blank, O-R-E. Oh. Feature of a creature Gore? feature. Oh, oh yeah, it's a feature. Gore, indeed. Yeah. It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> so, now, G-A, so blank, 54? blank. Yeah, yeah, G-A, blank, 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 for 54 across. In a jubilant fashion... Gailey? Gailey? Yeah. G A I L Y? G A Y L Y. I. I L Y. G A I L Y. Yeah, I think. Let's okay, uh, no. look at 42 down, I think, again. We've seen this. Something kids often lose. B E blank I blank or, or Y uh, blank A T. Hmm. Something. Bats oh, or... uh, it's a Y. It's baby fat. Ah, oh, baby fat. Okay. So coffee is definitely looking right there. I, I'm going to put the E-E -E for coffee. And then we could work on 47 and 48 down. Um, yeah. Ca so it's basic. It's It says in the feet gray foot. areas, it says feet foot. So... Um, so it's like plural, singular. Die up at 18 or uh, 17 across. The ones in the gray are D I E D I so. blank. Die did or uh, die. But 12 is oh, going to oh, be dice? like 12. Oh. 12. Tw tw so it's like an, it's got to be an L there, right? Tw elf. I think it's going to be 12. So an L. Well, huh. should we look I'm gonna at leave it blank for 47 a second. and 48 down? Yeah. Blank, yeah. blank, blank L-E for 47 down? Blank contendere. No, like nole contendere. I that think sounds that's right like, to me. That yeah. sounds good. That's Italian? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, means like no contest? Sure. Okay, <laughs> cool. Sure. 48 across, blank, B, but sorry, B-O, blank, blank, T. Talk uh, a big there, game. Talk a big game. Boast. Oh. Yeah, boast. Um, did we see 48 down, or did we get a true clue at? I didn't see it. Well, I saw it. Okay. Well, Lindsay and I get to play. It could be. Oh, I think we did spell. I think, sorry. I th sorry. I, it's you think no, coffee is wrong? It's no low contendere. It's, it's, that is right. That is right. With an O at the end. Yeah. And, and all right. So then that E, o then who knows? Too. So now with that foot, O, foot. now do a blank A Y O R for that true clue game. Uh, okay. Excuse me. There we go. So it could be Lindsay's employer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, uh, payor. Your employer pays you. <laughs> uh, that seems if you were spelling it with an E, maybe you were thinking about it when it was an E before. Oh, my bad. <laughs> and all of us have a payer as an employer, don't we? Right. <laughs> Not just Lindsay. Um, well. Well, uh, let's take a look. I already have it yeah, up on the screen. I, I actually glanced at it, too. The clue is uh, Blank oh. McCheese of Old Fast Food fame. Well, I was right. That is Mayor. You're the personal McCheese. assistant to Mayor McCheese, right? That was my first oh, job. Daniel, uh, gets three points. As a 14 year old. Yep. All right. Uh, all right. So then, are we saying then that it's basically duplicating the word in Here's there? Here's what it is it's taking two of something, and then you're supposed to imagine the plural, and that's the answer. So Would it be man, men? Yeah. So it's, well, man, man is two men, so it's men. So it's name, names, and then coffee, table, and it's. Foot, foot is feet. So, you know, the, the Two plural. Foot, make a feet. In this case, and it's the, the coffee dual. Yeah. To able. Right. So comedy uh, thing was, let's see. So that's going to be die, die. So yeah. two die is dice. So comed, comedies, comedies. What a pratfall maybe comedic effect. Does that work? Uh, die, yeah. Comedic yeah. effect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, so, elf, 
or what is that going to be? What what do I have wrong there? Uh, the S. So elf. So it's elf elf, and that makes twelve E L V S. Yeah, elves. Twelve elves. Elves. Program. Fun. Well, what about uh, 50, uh, 15 and 19 down? What are those yeah. going, what's going on? Must be uh, any blank IL. Blank shoot a town like Alice novelist. Neville. Neville, maybe. Like Longbottom, oh. a different Harry Potter mm-hmm. character. A fife is the Neville a vassal's yeah. plot of land. Uh, a like fief, 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 fiefdom. Like a fiefdom. Yeah, yeah. 21 across. VI, blank, yeah. blank, blank. Yeah. YouTube count. Oh, yeah. We know all about this. Dracula. Nine down overruns. Blank, blank, F-E-S-T-S. Infest. Infest. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. It's cleaning up nicely. You just have a few uh, six blank letters left in the top right-hand corner. Blank, blank, E-W for 10 down. Clue is movie magnate Marcus. Don't know. I don't know. No. 11 down, blank, blank, CS. Uh, clue is entities with pass through taxation briefly. Um, uh, don't know about that. Is it like an ink? Inks? Oh, Inks. maybe. Incorporated? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. In- yeah, I guess. 12 down, uh, blank, blank, T. Clue is got into the got, swing. Got into the swing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in the swing of that clue. Sat. Sat. Is that right? Like sitting, satting. Okay. Sure. Got into the swing. Yeah, and then uh, true clue game for um, nine across. I blank I S. Hey, I gotta buzz it. I gotta butt in for another buzz by. Oh, oh, to to just. It's a flyby buzz by. Um, my wife just brought me a. Uh, a uh, glass of beer, I assume. Is this the mm. yams, y'all? Oh, this is from this is from uh, uh, a Shades is that, Brewing. Is that Rylan? Oh, yeah. maybe. The, but this is yams, y'all. Yams, yams. Well, yams. Oh, baby, How is it? Would you bring the can? Yeah, we. we it's can good. Yam. It is. Yeah. It is good. I will say we've we. I bought. I picked up a six pack of all of their like different uh they have so many different like great like specialty beers and uh this one's good but it's not as good as some of the other ones i've had you know just to be honest but it is good it's not too sweet though thankfully uh the other ones are all kind of desserty beers like a pistachio ice cream beer Mm. and a a peanut butter sandwich beer no they didn't have that one but they had had um they have a they have a cream ale one uh, mm-hmm. that I had. And that was very good. They had a, uh, mm-hmm. I said the pistachio, a, a mm-hmm. lemon meringue. That one was really good. They they did have a pumpkin pie ale uh, for for Thanksgiving time. And Ooh. and and eleven. Oh, we're getting a comment from our Scottish friend, our Glaswegian Gina. friend. Yeah, eleven down is wrong. That, uh, this person thinks. Could and be. That might be true. It's also, you know. Should we try to, to, sixteen across? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, N blank N. Well, N blank blank A. Uh, N blank blank A for a, a 50, sixteen across. The big. Okay, easy. he's right. He or yeah. she or they are right because yeah. the big easy is Nola. Oh, so it's LLCs, limited liability corporations. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's better. So Nola, what's Nola? N- New, New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh. You, New, New Orleans. Orle- called- New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, okay. I've never, I'd never uh, seen it written as such. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now, what's going on with ten down? Blank well, O E W. Oh, it's, it's someone's last name. Oh it's, yeah. It's low, probably. And yeah. Then nine and across. Bl- I blank. Oh, yeah. Woes. Ills. Ills. <gasps> Look at us. All right. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, five minutes, 32 seconds slower than my, my average. Well, we're faster than my average, but my good, as, good I, I've always, as I've said, my average is now only reflecting our group solves. So uh, <laughs> don't read into it. What anyway. a great time with, with great commentary from our audience. Yeah. Thank you from across the, the globe. Uh, across the pond. Important 
um, corrections to our mistakes yeah. and and giving us uh, um, nice nice pointers with. I won't say we couldn't have done it without you, but I will say it might have taken us longer. Yeah, it would have slow. So never known it. Oh yeah, so so now it's time to hit up our etymological pass. Yeah, because we have a few mm. words we didn't under we didn't know, and that we have to look up and understand, and maybe just words that we're curious about uh, where, where where they come from. What's the history okay. of slow? <laughs> Was your last search nom nom coconut soup? <laughs> yeah, that was my wife. She made that uh, two nights ago. <laughs> It is oh, I, love, I, thought, I thought you did it like nom nom, like you were like nom, looking nom, for nom, delicious nom, nom. coconut soup. <laughs> yeah, what if you had, to, you had to look up everything you want by the sound that like you make in a comic strip or something? Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, ack ack uh, employment oh. services. Okay, blackthorn. Prunus spinosa, called blackthorn or slow, is a species of flowering plant in the rose family, rosaceae. Rosé, kai, I don't know, my Latin is n not good. Okay, well, let's, uh, should we look at the, like, the etymology of that? Do we I think we should. Yeah. Uh, Edom Online is where we like to go to look up uh, English etymologies. Mm -hmm. So, fruit of the blackthorn, Old English sla, plural slan, from Proto-Germanic slyquan, all source also of Middle Dutch slew. Dutch Slay, Old High German Sleha, German Schleihe. From Proto Indo European, blue, bluish, blue black. It kind of looked like a blueberry. And, uh, yeah, it did. So it did. That makes sense that blue, bluish, blue black. It's interesting that it sends you to, uh, as a reference, see livid. Uh, see livid. Interesting. It does. That is interesting. Um, how does that connect? Just connected to the, the, the blue, I guess. Of a bluish leaden color, livid. Oh, okay. Mm. So you have to tell you're blue in the face, like angry, livid, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Kind of thing. Oh. Okay. Uh, what else? Occam. We were gonna. We were gonna. Yeah, who's this about Occam? Yeah, fella. with his razor. Does he have a permit for I that? I think you missed that second paragraph on uh, livid, which actually said that it was associated with pale and colorless. Hmm. Um, oh. Uh, so somehow it became associated with pale, somehow. colorless. The sense of furiously angry is from the notion of being livid with rage. Perhaps this is the key to the meaning shift. Rage makes some dark red faced. Purple with rage is not uncommon in old novels. My money, ye pirate, or I'll strangle you. And he advanced upon him purple with rage and shot out his long threatening arm and brown fingers working in the air. While it makes others go pale, also a figure in old novels. At this juncture, the door opened and pale with rage. Her eyes flashing ire, Lady Audley stood before them. Okay. My, my. Well, that's fun and interesting. Yeah. I feel like I could dig that, dig into that even more. But Okay, Occam's. Yeah, Occam. So it's also spelled O-C-K-H-A-M. Mm -hmm. It's also a programming language, it looks like. So yeah, that's, not to be confused. that's not the place we want to be. So, so we need to do some disambiguation, it looks yeah. like. Oh, no, hold on. Hawkum. I think you had it. Uh, Did Occam's I? Razor. <laughs> I think you had it like two pages Ocean. Ago. Occam's Razor. Let's start there. Occam's Razor, or Occam's Razor, or Ocham's Razor. Uh, just to, the so law you understand. of parsimony. Uh, problem solving principle that entities should not be multiplied without necessity or more simply the simplest explanation is usually the right one uh, did you freeze there Daniel I can't, I can't hear you can't hear me Lindsay I can hear you oh okay I, I can hear you now yes, oh, okay good that's great um, okay so Occam, that's Occam's razor but let's see did it did it link us to uh, the idea is attributed to English Franciscan friar William of Occam uh so he was a Franciscan friar, uh, scholastic philosopher, and theologian who believed to have been born in Occam, a small village in Surrey. Uh, major figures of medieval thought, you known for Occam's razor. Oh, he and died in Munich. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. But he was born in England, uh, died in Munich, and... Uh, Lived to 62. Lived a good long life, yeah. This, uh, with just... It's, you know, it's just... Uh, Living the longest life uh, that's... Occam's, uh, it's Occam's, Occam's Razor? 
Occam's Razor. Yeah, Occam's Razor. All right. Well, I want you to do Betcha by Golly lyrics. Oh, mm -hmm. right. We yeah. got to do that one. Yeah. And then we got to read all the lyrics like we uh, it started that tradition last episode. Betcha by Golly. Betcha by wow. Yeah, you start typing it, and Siri just knows what you're going for. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. By the stylistics. These gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. Betcha by Golly. Wow. Uh, lyrics. Let's see about them. Lindsay, you want to read them? <clears throat> yes. Oh, Timber Thrax says, "Got to sing them." I don't know the. Li I don't know. Okay, well then, the tune. That's okay. <laughs> Make one up. There's a spark of magic in your eyes. Candyland appears each time you smile. Never thought that fairy tales came true, but they've come true when I'm near you. You're a genie in disguise, full of wonder and surprise. And betcha by golly, wow, you're the one I've been waiting for forever. And ever will my love for you keep growing strong, keep growing strong. Betcha by golly, that's wow. so sweet. Oh, yeah, that's great. Um, okay, the so. Stylistics. The stylistics, yeah. Do we know any other songs by the stylistics? Well, click on betcha by golly, wow, and I bet you can find their wikipedia page How, oh let's oh, mm. do that here we go back it up down there looks we like go. prince did a recording of it by the stylistics where is uh there we go stylistics so they're uh their big songs during the 1970s the group had 12 consecutive r&b uh top 10 hits including stop look listen you are everything Betcha by golly wow, I'm stone in love with you, break up and make up, and you make me feel brand new. I That's the only one I think I know. You make me feel brand new. Um, How does that one go? Um, let's see. You make me feel brand new. Let's look at the lyrics. May, uh, my love, I'll never find the words, my love, to tell you how I feel, my love. Mere words could not explain precious love. You held my life within your hands, created t everything I am, taught me how to live again. Only you. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I don't know this song. I don't know this it song. Is hard I think I was thinking of, uh, I was maybe thinking of uh, like a virgin Madonna's song. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, okay. Well, that's great. What, uh, what next? Uh, were we going to look up handle and how it became a term oh, for a, yeah. a name? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Adam online handle. Old English handle. A handle. Plural handler. Formed from hand with instrumental suffix L. Indicating a tool in the way thimble was formed from thumb. Spindle from spin. Uh, spin spindle from spin. Ladle from laid. The slang sense or uh, uh, of nickname is first recorded in 1870, originally U.S., from earlier expressions adding a handle to one's name that is a title such as Mr. or Sir. Okay, I, don't get I that. didn't realize it was so early, 1870, so not CB radio. No. To fly off the handle um, is a figurative reference to an axe head. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a little something. I was hoping for a little more, but... You, yeah, that's that's good, good, good enough. I think. How about this uh, low person? Oh, Marcus, Marcus Low, Lowe, movie magnate. Oh. Okay, this is an old timey. He's got a big old mustache. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Born 1870, died 1927. This is an early film. Let's see. Um, was an American business magnate and a pioneer of the motion picture industry who formed Lowe's. Theaters, yeah, Lowe's. I know of them. Theaters, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as the uh, Metro Goldwyn Mayer Film Studio MGM. And he formed both of those. Interesting. Those are, that's incredible. Yeah. So, uh, born in New York, poor Jewish family, emigrated to New York City a few years previously from Austria and Germany. Yeah. Grew up on vaud vaudeville c company... Founded a vaudeville company and then moved on to the, the movies. It's great. That's Maybe cool. we'd know his work, but his, if he died in 27, then all of his work was like silent and yeah. 
I don't know, maybe he did do some... We've seen some of those. Yeah. Okay, um... Great. What else? Uh, Should communist... we look up uh, Dinar? Oh, yeah. Dinar. Uh, cur- uh, uh, mm-hmm. Middle Eastern currency? Yeah. I guess we can Google it. Yeah, I, go- I Googled it online. before I had a minute. Uh, the dinar is the principal currency in unit in several countries near the Mediterranean Sea. Um, okay, let's add a minute. That's fine. If it's all over. Dinar. Middle Eastern currency, a unit of currency, generally generic name of Arab gold coins. Hmm. 1630s from Arabic di- dinar, origin, uh, originally the name of a gold coin issued by the Caliphs of Damascus from late Greek denarion from Latin denarius. So, but what, is denarius well, what does that mean? mean? It's an ancient Roman silver coin from Latin denarius. Noun use of adjective meaning containing 10. Uh, like D, like Decker maybe? Uh, short for denarius numus. The coin containing 10 oh, aces okay. from dene by tens. De- yeah, like... Yeah, uh, decim. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a, t- a tenth. Yeah, it's a ten kind of thing. Apparats. Man, there's That's a lot a of stuff one. this week. Yeah, apparatcha, appara- apparats. Apparats. Apparatus. Let's, uh, should we go to Adam straight for that? Let's just go straight it's there. It's kind of a... Yeah. I think apparatcha is what I've heard in, in reference to, the, you know, Soviet... Uh, apparatchik. Uh, yeah, that. Communist mm-hmm. agent or spy. This is apparatchik. Yeah. Uh, 1941, originally in writings of Arthur Kessler from Russian, from Apparat, political organization. See, Apparat. So, Apparat. Uh, administrative machinery of the Communist Party in Russia, 1950, from from Russian, from German, Apparat. Apparatus, instrument, from Latin, apparatus, apparatus, tools, implements. Yeah, that. Yeah, an apparatus. Apparatus so, is something. So it's we like know. a, it's like a, it's like a, um, you know, what do we call it? Operative the, um, or, or like. A well, I was gonna say, but but in the bigger, um, it's like the um. What do you call them? Those cogs. S- in systems. the wheel. Uh, yeah, no, uh, people, b- red tape people. What do you call it? people? Uh, uh, b- bureaucrats. Oh, bureaucrat. <laughs> Should I look up bureaucrat? Bure- that's probably for us from bureau, right? Bureaucracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A oh, tough man. word to spell. <laughs> she is apparently. <laughs> How do you spell that? B U R E A. Oh, no. B U R E A. Bureaucrat. There you go. Member of a bureaucracy, 1839, from French. Bu- bureaucrat. See, bureaucracy. Perfect pronunciation. Yeah, I know, right? From yeah. bureau meaning office, literally desk. See bureau, like a bureau. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, that's fun. It's good. It's good to know. What else? And Mira. Let's oh, see that about person. her. Yeah. I think after this we should look up lemmas, oh, the proof parts. L-E-M-A-T-S. Oh yeah, we never even acknowledged really that during our that, yeah. play. Hey, um, and Mira. Oh, along with her husband, Jerry Stiller. So maybe she's Ben Stiller's mom. Ben Stiller's mother. Children, Amy and Ben Stiller. There you go. Okay. Wow. What a baby. Four Emmy Awards and a Tony Award nominated. And she won a Writer's Guild Award as a co-writer for the TV movie, The Other Woman. No Obies? Nope. Not that we can see, but that's cute. Her and Ben Stiller oh. from back in the day. She her, does look her, familiar. Her and Jerry Stiller. Excuse me. Jerry just what just passed away like in the last yeah. month, few months. Um, okay, well that's uh, great. What yeah, else? That is great. Mo Rim CDC Mom Maharishi. Hmm. Yeah, well, we know what that means. Great Sage. Yeah, Great Sage title, probably from Sanskrit, maybe. Okay. Uh, anything else? Yeah, yeah, lemmas. And what, Lindsay, did, what did you point out? Oh, yeah, lemmas. The clue for that I think was I just wanted the song. Proof parts. Oh, yeah. Uh, lemmas. Lemma. A subsidiary or intermediate theorem in an argument or proof. Uh, heading indicating the subject of an argument 
or of a literary composition or an annotation or a dictionary entry. Oh, okay, well then let's uh, let's get a little more. And I'm lemma. I'd never heard this word before. 1560s in mathematics from Greek lemma, plural, lemata, something received or taken, an argument, something taken for granted from root of lambanein to take from Proto-Indo-European root hmm. logs, slogs, to seize, take, a uh, source also of Sanskrit lab, labhate, rabhate, seizes, old English lacan to seize, grasp. Greek lazami. I take grasp. Hmm. Okay. Something received or taken. So it's like, but it's a, it's like a given then, right? A related related word, yeah, l- lemmatical. Yeah, given. Yeah, something received or taken, an argument. Taken for granted. Cool. Yeah, that's Lemma. a fun, fun new word. Yeah. Uh, do you, what about vassal or fief? Any, oh, any sure, interest? yeah. Let's, let's get into both of those. Vassal. Early 14th century, 1200 as a surname, tenant who pledges fealty to a lord. I'm sorry, I'm going to get in here a little more. Um, From old French, vassal, subject, subordinate, servant. From medieval Latin, vassalus, manservant, domestic, retainer. Extended from vassus, servant. From old Celtic, vasso, young man, squire. Source of uh, Breton guys, man. One who stands under, from Proto-Indo-European root upo, meaning under. But how do you get upo to vassal? Yeah, those leaps from yeah. Proto-Indo-European are, are they're, yeah, they're strained sometimes. But uh, okay, that's cool. Vassal, uh, not cool. Glad we don't have them. Right. Anymore. What was the other one? A fief. Well, we, we probably still do have those <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah, that's just, true. They don't use the word vassal, I guess. <laughs> Uh, also, fief, uh, 1610s from French fief, a feud, possession, holding, domain, feudal duties, oh. payment, from medieval Latin, feodum, land or other property whose use is granted in return for service. Widely said to be from Frankish fehuod, payment, estate, or similar Germanic compound in which the first element is the Proto-Germanic fecu. Making it cognate with Old English fail, money, movable property, cattle. Hmm. Oh, so the yeah. word fee is related. See, fee. Okay, yeah. Feudal fee. A sum paid for a village. Okay, yeah, that's interesting how all this ties together. Yeah, it kind of does start coloring in uh, the the History? The history, yeah, color, yeah, nice little bit of color. All right, I think is that. Are we there? Is it? Is that? I think everything? we're good. Okay. We're good. We're we're done with the etymological etymological pass. Feels good. Okay, we're moving on, on to, to the arts, the section. arts section, and I believe maybe uh, can I pull up anything for either of you guys on here, or uh, or what? I'm um I'm sticking to literature this time. There's nothing you can find. I guess you could Google it at some point, but um, I'll tell you what to Google. I guess when it's my turn. I might have to turn off my green screen as well because I, I want to be able to show the thing in my That's hand. That's okay. We'll allow it. Go for it. Oh, is it my turn? Is it is it now? First, Chantel s- Chantel uh, in the chat says, "Please rate mm. Moscow Mules." Oh. Very important. Okay, the Moscow Mule, I'd say, was a ten. I would, I would drink this every day. Oh, you! Every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have mine in a koozie, um, so I know it doesn't look like we're not doing the proper advertising for our friends over there at Beehive Distilling, or sorry, Destillation Distilling. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I'd say it's it's um it's very lime. It's like the lime. I feel like you know. You said it was it was balanced. I, I feel like the lime and the ginger are like they kind of take over, and it's it's like it's like it's like a wrestling match between them. Of is he gonna give you that little like that little bit of ginger kind of like smack, you know, or is the lime gonna like make you pucker up? But it's great. I like it a lot. I would yeah. also give it a ten. It's good. I would absolutely drink this again. 
uh, I oh, love yeah. the lime taste in it. So, and I gotta say, I will. I uh, in another buzz by fly by buzz by. Um, uh, yeah, the yams, gorgeous y'all. Gorgeous background. Yeah, that's right. The yams, y'all. It, it, at first, I was like, "Oh, it's not as good as you know the other ones." It it uh, ages really well after opening. Like the next sips, like five minutes later. Okay. The smell is a lot more like mm-hmm. robust a little bit later, and that's really nice. And it's a lot smoother. I feel like. So, so. You let it breathe is your recommendation. Yeah, give it a give it give it let it breathe. All right. Well, so who's gonna who's gonna go first on this old art section? I'm going last. David, he's got the green screen okay. off. He's ready. All right, I'm ready. I've got the green screen off. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, th- I do have a gorgeous background. Thank you. Sometimes I like to just uh, highlight gorgeous. all these beautiful clothes here hanging. But um, today, I'd like to share with you a piece of art that I finished reading. Uh, it's a book. It's a book written by Anne. Nocenti, uh, N-O-C-E-N-T-I. Uh, she is an author. Um, actually, it's made me interested in, in other things that she's done. I've never heard of her before. But she's she's written a lot of um, uh, different different books. She's kind of been a journalist and other things. But uh, also, the art of this book is by an art uh, an artist. All of the illustrations are by this Spanish artist named David Aja. Uh, D-A-V-I-D-A-J-A this is called The Seeds do you see? The Seeds and it's a graphic no- a graphic novel uh, I'm going to kind of zoom uh, bring it in real tight for everyone and what I enjoy uh, I enjoyed many things about this graphic novel but um, just right off the bat the cover has beautiful um, uh, beehive imagery a, a bee in the center and a beehive with a maze, hexagon um, uh, uh, shape dominating the, the screen here. And I'll, I'll kind of leaf through a little bit of the imagery, I guess, in here. It's a, it's a dystopian story that's told in this graphic novel. And there's lots of great um, a beehive and hex, hexagon uh, themes throughout. And not just in w- when they're showing beehives, but there's um, beautiful dystopian imagery and I recommend this book. It's it's one of these dystopian stories that that gives you hope, uh, d- despite it being a, st- a, a potentially depressing uh, c- uh, um, series of events that are told in this story. Uh, and it's a, a worrisome that 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 our world could ever turn into the world that's depicted in this story. But but it's not so. Um, it's not so far-fetched. So to suppose that, for example, um, uh, that um, that all of the bees in the world die, for example, and mm. that w- we're forced to f- find other ways to pollinate our our plants and find um, uh, sustenance from from our agriculture and and, and whatnot. And and I think that there's some, um, I guess I don't want to like tell too much of the story and spoil it, but I'd say uh, I found found, uh, this story, this book by way of this artist, David Aja. He is someone uh, who's worked in graphic novels in the past as well. He did a whole series of um, of the... uh, What's it called? Uh, the uh, Hawkeye uh, for, from the Marvel uh, world. Hawkeye uh, had a whole, uh, from maybe 2015 to 2017, there was a Hawkeye uh, um, comic book series that he did the art for, and, and it's gripping visuals, and I, I recommend that series and anything else this, this artist does, but particularly I'd recommend this. Here in, in Salt Lake City, yeah, or in Utah, uh, we're all um, drenched in themes, in, in visual themes of bees and and beehives and industry. And I even have, uh, you know, on my arm a, a, a tattoo of a bee. Uh, uh, so I think of bees being kind of significant and um, uh, th- uh, metaphorically and literally. So um, anyway, just I recommend the seeds. And um, you can pick it up at your local comic book shop. 
or on the internet, I suppose. And um, uh, there you have it. That looks great. That looks super and, cool. And uh, Beehive. Gets... What comic book shop do you go to, David? I think it's called Black Cat Comics. Mm-hmm. It's in Sugar House it in, Sol- in Salt Lake City. Uh, I, I've uh, Chantel and I go there. Uh, feels like we go there uh, every every month or two, and we, it, whenever there's a, a need to kind of buy a gift for someone or buy a gift for ourselves. It's just great to stop in, and the the owner of the shop is very friendly, and he's got a huge collection of of comics, and it's always I mean it's it's always nice to to leaf through what you're gonna buy and 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 peruse the library before you you pick it out, and and it's just nice to have someone like the owner of that shop who's an expert and, and who can guide you and and who can learn about your interests. So Black Cat Comics down, down in Sugar House. It's um, it's open, you know, during during pandemic, and they they wear masks and everything like that. So so um, visit them and check them out. Nice. That's like a twofer. We get the book and the store. Yeah. All right, Lindsay, what do you got for us? All right, what I have is actually. <laughs> I'm sharing a lot about myself today, but this is the best Valentine's Day present that I've ever received in my life. I got it from my husband uh, two years ago. And the reason it's the best isn't the content. It's partially the content. I'll say this. The reason it's the best is because I had seen it months prior in a gift shop when we were on a trip together, actually with David and Chantel. Uh, I saw it in a gift shop and I just was like looking through the book the whole time everyone was in this gift shop and I was like oh my gosh like I love this because I love weird things and that's also why it's a great gift is because it's weirdly fascinating and I enjoy things like this but this book is called Crucial Interventions and I'll hold it up and what it is is it's an illustrated uh treatise on the principles and practice of 19th century century surgery um but what's fantastic about this book and i you know i don't i don't know that you should google it maybe i should hold it a little further away but like it's got all of these diagrams on different um medical say the name of it again it's called crucial interventions uh, yeah, yeah. This is the book, um, and he actually got me a second book, which is called Sick Rose, and it's about uh, it's illustrations of diseases. And so, basically, back in the day, they just had obviously no cameras back in the day, uh, and so they had to do illustrations of all of these different types of medical procedures, and they had to illustrate diseases and what they looked like. This is how people would research and understand how to do different procedures, uh, et cetera. So if you, if it were the zombie apocalypse and you needed uh, an amputation or a tracheotomy, I could look up in my book how to do it in the 19th century, which is pretty fun. <laughs> I would let you do a surgery on me in the apocalypse. Thank you. Based Thanks, on the I information in this book. Yeah. 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 I would trust you to really, you know dig into those diagrams and do a good job yeah i and i would <laughs> thanks so remove my uh my bad Your humors big toe. oh yeah my big toe yeah it's a, that's it's where i keep that's where i keep my good humor so near, near your elbow my big toe mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Um, well, that's beautiful and lovely and sweet that it involved uh, that uh, the fact that it was a gift. Yeah, and it's I just was very surprised for Valentine's th- uh, this year too. That's great. Yeah, that's your reminder is to think of something thoughtful to grab for someone you love. Yeah, tell tell them you love them with something, or something whether that's a thing them. or an act. You know, just make it special. 
All right. Well, um, okay. Uh, we've arrived at uh, at uh, my section, and and what I'll say is that um, it 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 feels a little, you know, like a, a you know of a theme today that we that we have this beehive thing going on um, because we drank. It wasn't beehive technically. Well, you you had the beehive, and then there was uh, buzz. We you know buzz by. That's buzz's kind of bees. So, uh, beehive distilling. I've had the opportunity to uh, how how you know how I got these drinks is because I happened to be there, um, creating these audio stories for uh, just this collaborative project in South Salt Lake, and uh, and so I was recording. I was there uh, recording audio to create these fun little audio stories about um, about different makers and craters in South Lake and Beehive is one of them and it's a cool distillery um, they it's an amazing place have either of you been inside there no I've mm. never been it's in Ogden no it's in South Salt Lake oh sorry no I haven't been there it's it's a uh, it's right off of the S line like it, it it's it's uh-huh. doors are are on the S line in in uh, just between it's can it's you, right down on West help Temple me, help me with some confusion here I'm having yeah, uh, the can the can says desolation distilling. It doesn't. It doesn't really. It says beehive vodka. I guess that's where the vodka comes from. But what's what's desolation distilling compared to beehive distilling? Desolation is their brand for cocktails. Ah, uh, aha. And and beehive is their brand for all of their. Um, I like. I de- I wonder. Maybe Here. they have like des. How do you spell that? Desolation. Uh, distilling, and maybe it's got its own mm-hmm. uh, website as well. There you go. Yeah, so they've kind of just got these different brands of of uh, Ooh, cocktails that gin they make. Ricky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The gin Ricky. So you can get these at the liquor stores uh, in Utah. You can probably get them out of state in some places, or you can go down to Beehive Distilling in South Salt Lake, and you can buy them from there. Uh, fridge or uh, you can go in and, and have a cocktail uh, at the bar so desolation is a, is a name of a, a, a Utah it's like a Utah place name right desolation Canyon mm-hmm. desolation yeah lake lake there's a desolation like yeah Utah has a lot of desolate landscapes in different parts yes. yeah mm-hmm. so uh, my little art piece is you know sometimes i like to share the stuff that i'm working on i shared my pet songs before and so my art piece is a little a little short uh a couple it's 90 seconds a little audio story uh giving you a glimpse into beehive distilling and uh let me shoot this over to my ipad and we'll see what happens i'm turning up my i'm turning up my my that's not what i meant to happen but let's 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 try this and I'm yeah, let's see. This. Hopefully, sure. Quick notes. B- bask in the okay. noise. Bask in the sound scapes. So the canning line. Can you guys hear that? Could oh, you? Yeah. Hear yeah. That? yeah, the canning yeah. line. It oh, terrific. Like. Okay, great. Here we go. And uh, uh, yeah, we could go out on this. Uh, you know, this could be our little last thing. You know, it's fun to hear. Have a little audio, and then and then when we're done, uh, we'll be done. It'll be a good place to stop recording. Yeah. Sound sound good to everybody? Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. To our for, for our friends. So the counting line? Oh. Uh, oh shit, I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? He fills cans with booze. And then people drink it. <laughs> In the success of High West and realized Utah really didn't have any other distilleries other than Ogden's own at that time. When we would travel, we would bring back a really nice scotch or a really nice bottle of tequila. So we were always at, at each other's studios having having drinks and talking about The founders stuff. were it really seemed photographers like and a graphic designer. Fit. The Jackrabbit Gin, we start with a corn base. Juniper, obviously, because it's gin, it has to have juniper orris root, coriander, and grains of paradise. We'll take those, we'll crush them up, and macerate them. 
think of a, a giant tea bag, uh, culinary sage, rose petal, and uh, lemon zest, and put that in what's called a gin basket. So instead of actually soaking it oh, yeah. in the alcohol to extract the flavors, the vapor goes up through the still and just the vapors pull the, pull the flavors out. Gin, that's the other theme today too. Slow gin. You really can taste all of the, the rose and the juniper and the lavender when you taste it. And jackrabbits eat juniper berries, so that's part of their diet. So great. Yeah, I loved that, Daniel.